Welcome to today's secondary ERP support training session topic. We will be focusing on the VIN decoder, which is a utility that references the vehicle identification number and downloads vehicle information from the web into EBMS. A vehicle identification number, or VIN, is a unique code given to each vehicle in the U.S. This includes automot automobiles, trucks, and trailers. Many companies use the EBMS serialized item module to record VIN numbers as a serial number. VINs can be recorded to identify vehicles that are purchased and sold. They can identify used vehicles or may be used to identify the customer's existing vehicle for service only. Work orders, sales invoices, and other historical documents are associated with the customer's vehicles, creating a valuable reference for both the customer and the service technician. The VIN decoder is used to download the year, make, model, and engine of the vehicle, giving sales staff the necessary details when selling aftermarket parts or when servicing a vehicle. The VIN decoder requires the following two EBMS modules and is actually included as part of the serial product specs or serial number specs module. The serial number, the serial numbers module is used to identify unique serial numbers to manage individual whole goods and to record history costs, pricing, and details about each serial number. The serial product specs is an additional enhancement to the serial numbers module that adds the ability for the user to define a list of specifications to each serial number. So it adds a serial number entry within an invoice or a work order so a, a serialized item can be entered on the header of a task or invoice and associate the serial number using that field. The serial product specs also includes the VIN decoder, which we are discussing here today. The VIN decoder allows EBMS to download vehicle specifications directly from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or NHTSA website. The vehicle's year, make, model, engine information, and other user-defined information is recorded within the Serialized Item Specifications list. This is a tab within the Serialized Item record. This process happens automatically whenever a vehicle identification number or VIN is entered into EBMS as a serial number. This automated process can save a large amount of data entry when creating vehicle records within EBMS. This utility is, is not an option, but is standard. It also does not require uh, the user to enable the option because the EBMS knows the difference between a VIN number and a serial number. So whenever a VIN number is entered in EBMS, it automatically activates this VIN decoder. Let's look at a scenario. An auto accessories dealer identifies the vehicle on the work order and sales invoice when billing aftermarket parts for customer fleets for trucks and other vehicles. The vehicle specs can identify the year, make, model, and other details of the dealer's vehicles, the company feet, or just the customer's vehicle. These details are needed for the sales staff to quickly identify the correct accessory for a customer-specific vehicle. These VIN details are displayed on the work order, allowing the technician to quickly identify the vehicle that they are working on. So let's take a look at how this VIN decoder works. This VIN decoder, like I said, is present as long as the serialized item specs module is installed. If that's installed, then you will see a serial number option on the header of 
a document like a task as seen on the screen. Whenever a VIN number is entered in the serial number field, EBMS will automatically populate the information on the description and info columns as seen on the screen. Now the standard information that is always copied is the year, make, model, and engine. But the user can look through the large amount of data that is accessible through the VIN code and the NHTSA website. Note that the system will not uh, require the user to respond, but it will automatically copy whenever a VIN number is entered. Now there's two places where a VIN number can be entered and the vehicle record can be created, including the copy of the year, make, model, engine specs copied to the serial number specs columns. The one location is the work order, as seen on the screen. So if the user enters the serial number in the header of the work order, then this information will be copied and the specs will be stored in EBMS. Now one of the settings that are required to make this work seamlessly is that we must create a default serialized item to identify the product code that's used when creating these vehicle records. On the screen, you will see this non-inventory serialized item labeled vehicle. So there's a generic inventory code labeled vehicle that is created in the product catalog and then stored on the inventory options serial number specs as shown on the screen. This inventory code must be classified as a non-inventory serialized item. This is a generic code used to identify vehicles that are not purchased or sold through EBMS. So the two places where I can create these records, one is the work order, the second is the sales invoice. If I click on the serial number tab of the sales invoice, again, I can enter a VIN number on the serial number field, and again, it copies the serial number specs to the description and info columns. Note that this cannot be done anywhere else. So I can't create this VIN number uh, or this, I can't activate the, the VIN decoder utility from the customer serial number or serial number tab. It must be done within these two screens, the work order and the sales order or invoice. Another option I have from these two screens is the ability to update information. So like I mentioned, when you put in a VIN, if that VIN is not already in EBMS, it automatically creates it without even requiring a response from the user. If the record already exists, if that VIN number is already in the system, then it will not update or re-download the information from the NHTSA website. If I wanted to, for some reason, update this information, I would right-click on the serial number and select Import Year, Make, Model, Engine Information. This is seldom required, uh, which does allow the user to tweak the info associated with these labels without the fear of having them overwritten. The second option available, again, from the, the work order or the sales invoice, is to right-click on the VIN number and select Browse NHTSA Overview. Now, this gives information about this vehicle, as you see on the screen. This is information that is maintained by NHTSA and is accessed every time I right-click and select this option. 
The third option is to browse NHTSA raw data. Now, as you can tell, this is programming lingo, but this is a very valuable reference uh, information that I can use to identify the labels or the information that is available from this NHTSA site. So as you can see with the highlighted uh, variables, I could set up cab type, trailer type connection, number of wheels, or any of the other many, many options that are in this raw data. If I make a description label on the vehicle or the uh, non-inventory serialized item, if I set that up in the serial number specs, then from then on, it will download that information. Now, we're not going to spend a lot of time on serial number specs, but this is a very flexible, very valuable tool that, like I said, is an option in EBMS as part of the serial number specs module. What this does is allow you to identify the information you want to retain for that group of serialized items. If I put the label in from, at that point on, when I download this information, it will populate the proper info associated with that VIN number. You can reference the documentation to see how you set this up. But as you can see on the screen, I have uh, descriptions of this particular piece of equipment. I populated info with it, and from then on, it can be referenced on the work order or the sales order. Now, the example I gave you here does not have year, make, model, and engine, which will automatically be added to a VIN number. But the serial number specs can be used for many other types of equipment or serialized items. And it gives a lot of flexibility since the user can identify the labels or the description that he wants to associate with these serial numbers. When this information is associated with a serial number, the specs are then can then be displayed on a standard work order form that you see on the screen. This can be pretty valuable in a shop or repair order because it allows the user to see this detail. We're also adding this to my time. So if you choose to use electronic work order system using a tablet instead of paper, again, you have access to this valuable serial number specs. What the VIN decoder does is it populates this detail automatically rather than requiring you as a user to manually enter it. Again, the VIN decoder only works for cars, trucks, trailers that contain VIN numbers. Otherwise, the serial number specs must be entered manually. This powerful VIN decoder documentation is found under the inventory documentation under serialized items as seen on the screen. This concludes an overview of the standard feature that is relatively new, it's about two years old, but is used by uh, a small number of our customers because many people don't realize that this feature is available in, a, uh, in the standard serial number specs module.